2022 marks two decades since Asia's youngest democracy came to be. Since then, Timor-Leste has held elections every five years. And while campaigns are usually about old versus new, this one has thoroughly blended those concepts together. The incumbent president is Francisco Luolo Gutierrez. In 2018, the former resistance fighter had refused to swear in seven ministers from the CNRT, a party led by the country's first president and former resistance leader, Janana Guzmao. Mr Gutierrez justified the move by citing inquiries into misconduct or poor moral standing. The party divisions that followed led to a prolonged political impasse. But Gutierrez's supporters say it only showed his strength as a leader. I hope Luolo will be re-elected. We are choosing him because he has great abilities and is patient in facing all problems. My hopes for him to be re-elected are very high. I am proud of him. People like him are capable of serving the community. His biggest threat needs no introduction. Former president, prime minister, independence figure and Nobel laureate José Ramos Horta. Since announcing his candidacy, the 72-year-old has enjoyed a huge wave of public support, as well as the backing of the CNRT. While promising to restore political stability, he's also pushing for economic diversification to move away from Timor-Leste's usual reliance on oil and gas. I'm very proud to give my full support to Ramos Horta to lead this country and take part internationally. As the next generation, I will definitely choose a leader who is appropriate and suitable for this country. Whoever wins, jobs and education remain in focus, with around 20% of the electorate being first-time voters. Mr Ramos Horto is currently leading the polls, but if none of the 16 candidates secure a majority this time around, a runoff will be held in April. Manny Tsigas, ABC News.